applying for this program was really exciting because first of all, it's an opportunity to be away from home, to do my own thing and to work with people here. So I've found that I'll be immersed in a lot of mathematical life in the region at the Institute, as well as the mathematics institutes nearby. It gave me lots of opportunities for creating scientific life with three events hosted by SILM, getting involved in seminars here, as well as collaborations in particular. And finally, big projects I have this year are to finish two books. And so it also gives me the solitude I need to just hide and work hard and write. And that has been going great so far. There are various things. Like I said, I'm working on books, so I try to get those done on nights and weekends and uh, other times during the week. I have collaborations with Patrick Foulon here. That's an important part of the attraction for me coming here, and we've made great progress. I'm also hoping to start collaborations with mathematicians, Serge Trubitskoy, for instance, others in the area, and I've had the opportunity to take this as a base as well, to travel to seminars in the region, to conferences nearby, as well as to some mathematics departments a little bit further away. I think this brings a lot to me. Um, the organization of events is a great benefit. I've met lots of people and made good progress in discussing mathematics with them and learning from things that are here in their talks. And I will also bring some colleagues here. Jörg Schmeling, for instance, will come later in the spring, and he has in the past had collaborations with local mathematicians as well. So this will be something that benefits me as well as other mathematicians in the area. I have several doctoral students, and uh, some of them will come at various times to visit here as well to work on their dissertations and they've benefited from some of the events I've organized here as well. Well, the biggest event in scale here was the workshop on dimension and habibility, which took place in the first week of December here. It was quite large. It was more than 70 participants from quite a few continents and a number, a number of countries, quite a few from France, quite a few from the US, many others as well. For me, this was a highlight, as was the school I organized the week prior with Francoise Dalbon and various others as well. But another thing is the regular mathematical life. So the center of attention for daily life as it were here in mathematics is Fouimam, next to the train station in the heart of Marseille, which is where people from the various mathematics departments here get to meet. And I was, from my very first weeks here, very impressed with the range of subjects that appear in the colloquium there, as well as the number of people who are regularly found there to attend these colloquia. So I found this a city of lively mathematical exchange with lots of opportunities for learning, collaborating, and producing mathematics. What I hope for is um, at least one paper, I think more than one will actually come out of it because I'm working on several projects at the same time. Right now actively with one and a half or two with Patrick Foulon. There are others that with uh, yet other colleagues I'll work on in the spring. And I've really committed to myself as well as others to finish two books while I'm here. And those I hope will actually go into production next summer, meaning within a few months of finishing up this term. So that and all the works produced by the people who came to the workshops here and profited from the interactions with others, I think will altogether constitute a great output for the year. Marseille is a great place to be. I've mostly used CIRM and the mathematical community as my home. And I love the climate. I also like the fact that from right here at the Institute, within 20 minutes, I'm at the Calonk, the beautiful cliffs over the Mediterranean. But as a city, Marseille has a lot to offer. And I've only 
explored part of the city so far. There's a lot more to go and much more to look forward to. And there is the region, which is great fun as well. So I remember a few day trips from here to Les Beaux de Provence, for instance, or the Grotte de Sainte Baume, a great Roman aqueduct elsewhere, the city of Nîmes and the like. So Marseille is a gateway to the Provence, which is legendary and great fun. It has the coast right here, and it's France's second city, nicely spruced up with a wonderful waterfront, a great new museum. So it's been a great place to be, even though there is yet a lot more to go in terms of exploring Marseille. It's lovely. It's an adorable place. The location is great because it's, on one hand, 20 minutes from my bed to the Mediterranean, which is hard to beat on foot, as well as connected to the city of Marseille and right here at the heart of the Siam and the Lumini campus altogether. It provides a great place for access to everywhere, as well as for just hiding, writing, doing my own thing, especially on the monastic weekends. I can choose to work all the time, or I take my breaks, take a walk in, the, in nature, or a trip into town. For me, it's fabulous. It probably depends on what people want to do, but for me, so far, it's proved ideal because the scientific interaction is right here, and at the same time, the seclusion and being away from other responsibilities is here as well. And the opportunity for mini breaks, a quick walk or a quick trip into town to just take an hour off work and then continue on is beautiful. So it's been great for me both as a focus of my own work, a focus of interaction, and doing it in an environment that's very pleasant. In particular, too, in a climate where I don't have to bundle up to go outside, I can make it a town easily without digging out of snow the way I have to do sometimes at home. So, thumbs up, it has been great, and it's definitely one of the most pleasant environments. I've been bragging to people back home about wintering in Marseille, and yes, it's all work, but it's like vacation because I get to do all the things that a mathematician on sabbatical dreams about.